everybody. Welcome everybody. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Welcome to the Entrepreneurs Club International. I'm really impressed that so many people have showed up, particularly with uh, you know, the tube strike on at the moment and the traffic problems. It's great to see so many of you here and I hope you have a great evening. It's found a fabulous place. Thanks to the Playboy Club for, hold, for letting us hold it here. And um, yeah, I started the Entrepreneurs Club seven years ago, believe it or not. Seven years ago. And it was funny because I was sitting in my kitchen in North Kensington at the time and just a phrase came into my head, the Entrepreneurs Club International. It was just a word, a phrase. And it just rang a bell and the next week I started to set up some meetings in a flat I had at the time in Chelsea and it was before Facebook had taken off so it was really kind of word of mouth and just getting on the phone to people and we had about 25, 30 people there and it was basically what emerged in my mind was actually, you know, there has to be a better way of doing things. You know, I've always had a questioning mind and I've always looked at things sometimes from an odd and oblique angle actually. But I thought there has to be a better way of doing business. And that's kind of how the Entrepreneurs Club started. We are in a world of great transition at the moment. Yet seven years ago, you know, a lot of people were really in the status quo. Life appeared very good. There was lots of money, lots of flow. And I was one of those people. Things were going pretty good for me. And so I set the Entrepreneurs Club up based around the idea of called the win-win paradigm. That in fact, we can have a business and a setup, according to what I believe, which is not ripping the other person off, sharing, cooperation, and looking after the world around us. And from my experience, if we follow that, and we operate from a place of integrity, and honor, and ethics, and good business, and I'm not saying we can't be tough, but if we operate from that place, it, it's the long game we play, it's not the short game. Win-lose is the short game, win-win is the long game for the planet and its inhabitants. But for me, personally, um, doing the Entrepreneurs' Cup was wonderful, meeting wonderful people, uh, talking about self-development and the things that were close to my heart, like healing. Um, but for me, it wasn't all winning, because uh, two or three years later, I too became a victim of the recession and it was a very, very hard, hard lesson that I've had to learn personally over the last three or four years. As a property developer with a development, uh, looking like we were going to make a lot of money, doing lots and lots of great business, or so it seemed, things started to go wrong. And uh, when things start to go wrong, as many of you know in business, sometimes it feels like they're just going to carry on going wrong. Uh, life can be like that. Um, so what happened is actually I got into real financial difficulty in 2010 and, and to such a point that I actually split up from my partner uh, from the farm that we lived in in Sussex and had some really, really, had to do a lot of real heart searching. So what I did was I went back to my roots. I went back to something that I kind of in my mind thought I couldn't actually make any money from. It wouldn't give me the kind of lifestyle that I was used to. I went back to being a healer. And I went back to doing stuff which was really from the heart. Uh, and one of the things I found was that when I did that, really great things started happening in my life again. And there's a reason I'm saying all this to you, okay? What I found is a lot of people study self-development, a lot of people do visualizations, a lot of people read books like The Secret, and I'm all for that stuff because I do really believe our thoughts change our reality. But I'm also of the belief that there is a higher order at play. And if we're not fully aligned and congruent with our soul's journey, our soul's path, we're not going to achieve real happiness. And in my own case, I had many, many deals. I was really kind of dealing on five, six, seven, eight hundred million pound deals. And every single one fell out of bed. It was just madness. I couldn't believe it. I was negotiating at the top level with FTSE 100 CEOs doing huge deals. And every single one fell out of bed. Because of that, okay, it got me back to my roots. It got me back to doing what I feel is actually important. Okay? And as a result of that, I created something called the quantum law of attraction. 
Now the quantum law of attraction is saying, yes, our thoughts create our reality, but there are other factors in play. And if we understand and, and align to those other factors in play, then we can create a life that is truly congruent with our soul's journey. So for me, self-development is great, but I also wanted to bring in what I felt were other important things as well. And as a result of that, I've created something called the Quantum Law of Attraction course. We are actually on our seventh anniversary. We are launching tonight the ECI retreat, because a lot of people have said, well, you, we get so many lovely people at these events They'd like to come and join and learn and study and do stuff. So we're going to have a great retreat uh, out in Flow, out in uh, Northamptonshire. One of the people that's going to be part of this whole thing is Muriel Muller, who's going to have a quick few words with you now to explain about what she does with yoga and flow. I've done the uh, Quantum Law of Attraction course with Simon a year ago, which was amazing. And we started doing yoga um, during the course. It was a three-day course, and it just really started to flow, everything was really um, congruent and worked really well together. Uh, we've got wonderful yoga, massage, Rainer's massage and some really important new teachings that, I've, that have come through over the last few years, as well as some traditional healing uh, modalities such as Reiki, etc. All, all woven into a, a very powerful life transforming package. Um, and I'm always there to help you as a backup if you need help further down the line. I've got a clinic around the corner and you know I've got lots of people coming through the doors, lots of business people because I've got the business experience to help them make the shift sometimes when, they're, when they come up against problems. You know the left brain doesn't always sort those problems out. Sometimes you need a non-linear right brain approach uh, and that's what I try and help people find and do and get connected to something higher than just their own limited thinking perhaps. So that's the law of attraction. And the win-win paradigm is the other thing that's come out of, of, of the Entrepreneurs Club and it's really about having a mutually beneficial dynamic for the good of all. So whatever we do in business and in life, it's about, you know, is it actually helping the world is it, or is it just a selfish thing? If people start to think a little bit more out of the box and start to think about the effects of their actions, then this world has a chance of shifting. That's what this place is all about.